what is up guys dude you guys want to stay tuned for this one i'm heading over to my buddy's shop we got in contact with an upholstery shop and we got some pretty cool stuff done to his truck all right i'm gonna put you on the spot let's see it it's hard nowadays to get a good upholstery hold on old truck stuff so we found a good one so we're gonna go and give it a try and just see how the quality is you guys are just gonna have to wait uh to see it's pretty cool i guess here's a three second travel montage Okay, so sometimes you ask yourself, I'm keeping these steel beauties on the road, but it's so much harder and harder to find good quality shops that do the old school stuff, like finding a good machine shop. And the thing for me, at least around here, is finding a good upholstery shop. I had to go out, I had to stretch out, and I found some. Now, uh, I found a lot of companies that make some pretty cool stuff, sort of like the new school type of upholstery. So that's like metalwork, you know, things like that. But if you're kind of wanting some old school upholstery done, where do you go? I found a place. I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. But first, look at this. Like, there is cars here at my buddy's house. Some trucks, old Edsel, a couple of fridges, look at that panel, Oops, spotted a bump there, like a bump over here, let me show you inside. Hope you don't mind me showing everyone your vehicle. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Shorty B's garage, look at that. Got a 66 Galaxy over there. And here's the truck we're working on today. Kind of want to like install these, see how they go, and then I'll tell you all about the company. All right, I'm gonna put you on the spot. You've been doing this for a while. Let's see it. So, what do you think? I think it's actually pretty good work considering that uh, she did most of this from as like far pictures, as the right? The holes from pictures that I took and measurements I sent her. Like referring to these connections right here and stuff. The Christmas yeah. trees are on the back. That's cool. I like how she used this material. Usually it's that press board or whatever you call it. And then if you have to bend it, it breaks. But this looks pretty flexible. The color we chose strictly off of yeah. pictures. So and just basically, and it, I think it matches. What do you think? I think it matches pretty good considering. Yeah, honestly. It's gonna make my old seat look a little rough. <laughs> yeah, but it kind of matches, you know. <laughs> All right, let's let's pop that in, dude. Let's see this. Testament to her work here. She did this all from pictures, which is wild. Did you give her a few measurements too, right? I did. I took a picture of a template. That's pretty good. So not bad for yeah. Her working off the template. The template. Hey, it's a ghost. Oh good. yeah. All I did was I marked out the holes with the inches. And you sent it to her? The size of the holes, and I took a picture of that and sent it to her on message. Wow. So. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> awesome. All right, so the other side. But she did do that. did do the armrest, yeah. What is going on? This is for a different video. What's going on, guys? Have you hit that subscribe button or the follow button yet? Please do so as it tells the algorithm that you guys like our content, and it makes it happy so that we can continue to promote parts as well as trucks and other classics to the world. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thanks. Bye. Subscribe, hit that follow button. Cool. Yeah, she wrapped it, did the stitching. That's really nice. She kind of did like a pretty intense stitching on the inside, I guess for like durability yeah, to get or it something. Wrapped and... I'll show you a picture of that. All right, go for it. See, I just I just film, I guess he does the work, huh? <laughs> uh -oh. One's a bit off, huh? Oh, made it work. Mine. All right as rain. Wow, that's awesome. So, how was installing this though? Uh, the is there anything clips specific or anything? In behind are very tricky. But that's um, just like on these, that, on these models, right? Right. And it's pretty much it's, I think it's the same clips even up into the slicks. That's cool. Because you really upholstered this. Yeah, oh, and you just kind of poke the holes go in there. That's cool. Kind of cleaner, actually. Well, now you're. Truck's complete. You don't have to spend any more money on it, right? Ah, that's a fun <laughs> one. Now I gotta have headliner and oh, are you gonna visors have, and what do you seat. think? What are you thinking on the headliner? I'm not even sure yet. But I might talk to her about uh, sending her the patterns and, and see her. if she can't do something with it. Also, why not? Yeah. That and the visors. The seat is a little more tricky. But yeah, the other stuff could be shipped pretty easy. So that's cool. Wow, wow. So what do you say? Zero out of ten. 
Oh, I'd give it a 10. Yeah, me too. That was, uh, that was pretty 10. easy. I thought maybe you and I would have to like, we'd see something that didn't work <laughs> out or something. And then, no, you know. That's, that's a 10. And the look is a 10. I mean, she does. It matches really well. Work. Wow. So guys, you know, like I said earlier, it's really hard to find good upholstery, you know, companies out there anymore. It's just like find anybody that knows how to do anything with twin eye beams or a machine shop. It's just so hard to find. And here's a company and it sounds like she ships and she works with you because this guy had a template. So very nice. Yeah. Now you're going to have to get a new seat, dude. Here's her car right here. Nikki's Custom Interiors. Nikki's Custom Interior. So she's out of uh, Michigan. Tipton, Michigan. Tipton, Michigan. And basically, I don't know, is shipping that probably not even that expensive. If you're getting good you upholstery, around 50 bucks. 50 bucks? That ain't bad for two. There it is, guys. Check them out. I'll talk some more about the company here in a minute. But I want to know about the truck. <laughs> you want to tell me about the truck a little bit? Well. Well, cool truck, man. Appreciate rocking the sticker. And I appreciate you having your truck as a <laughs> getting filmed and everything. Hey! <laughs> oh, you painted you it. Heck yeah! It. <laughs> That's cool. Thanks, brother. I think I'm gonna go walk around here before we lose light. In some of your trucks, if that's okay. Well, I'll get out of your hair, man. I'll get out of your hair. Thank you so much. I really appreciate yeah, it. I appreciate um, it. wish you had some socials for people to go check out, but you don't really do that, right? <laughs> no, no. You, really. You're an old school shop guy. But guys, check out check out Nikki's Custom Interiors. Um, they do all types of interior, and they do, I would say, a nice mix of new school, old school. So if you guys need some serious upholstery done, like this, and check out Nikki's. Check them out on Facebook. See ya. Well, guys, there you have it. If you guys are interested in doing some upholstery, or getting some upholstery done, rather, then check out Nikki's Collect. She does shipping, which is pretty cool. I think what I really liked, or what I noticed when I was sifting through her Facebook, uh, head there, by the way, Nikki's Custom Interiors on Facebook and see some of the work that she does. She does a little bit of everything. I noticed that people that do not just automotive upholstery have a tendency to really like go above and beyond in regards to quality to make it last. Continue on US 160 West for three miles. Whatever you say. Another reason why you should check out Nikki's Customs is that she reached out because she's a member and a fan of the group and she, she wants to get back into doing you know, the classic stuff, classic forts. Uh, I think they have a fridge themselves. If you guys could do me a favor, please head over and blow her Facebook page up. Nikki's Custom Interiors. Uh, like it, follow it, share it, and support those members on Fort Up Hunter World that have businesses or create products or have services to help people get their classics on the road. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, keep those still beauties on the road.